Hey y'all, I have a little project I want to share with you today. I want to share some instructions on how to make a triple pocket tea bag holder card. The holidays are coming up and we can all use some ideas for some simple gift giving projects and I just want to share something I found with with all of you and um, you can look out on the net and find lots of instructions on how to make these little small tea bag holder gift cards. And if these images look kind of familiar, if you saw my mini album I made for my daughter, these images are from the same designer, um, A Day for Daisies. And I do some designing work for them. And on the inside of this little card, you will find two pockets that you can slide some tea bags in. And it just makes a cute little, little gift to give at any time. But, like I said, I thought about the holidays coming up, and these are really, really simple to make. They don't take a lot of paper. They don't take a lot of time. You cut your pieces out, pop them together with a little bit of, little bit of embellishment. You don't even need a lot. And you've got a really cute little gift. So, this is the larger version. This is the triple pocket that I'm going to share with you today. And, basically, you open it up, and you have three pockets for tea bags. And you could actually make it double and put pockets on this side also if you wanted to. But you have about a half an inch worth of space to work in there. So that's why I'm saying they're, they're simple. You can embellish them if you want to, but you're not going to be able to put a whole lot of bulky embellishments, especially in the center of them. Now, on the outside, you can go crazy. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you how I want to put this together. I tried to do this video already yesterday and it ended up being a half hour long because I went actual step by step and put the whole project together and I'll share that one with you at the end of the instructions but it was just too long I didn't want to try your patience so you're going to get the abbreviated version <laughs> and first off you need your base card I've used craft card stock here and it is cut at seven by eight and a half inches this is your seven this is your eight and a half. So you butt your eight and a half up on your scoreboard and you want to score at four and four and a half. And that is the base of your card. And you're just going to burnish those folds. And you would decorate this however you wanted to. Um, on the one I showed you, I had one, two, three, three matte layers, and then started putting my images and doodads on top of it. So it just depends on how many layers of paper you want to, to put on there for your, your mats. And you can do them whatever size. I generally cut mine an eighth shorter than what the open area is, but you can make it whatever size you need it to be. But anyway, that's the base of your card. Now, for the pockets, you need three pieces cut at four by six and a quarter. And you're going to score those lengthwise at a half an inch on either side. And then at three and a half. So you have that. Then you're also going to burnish scores for this make them crisp and you have the beginning of your pocket now for mine this is the three and a half inch side I used a corner rounder and just popped these corners off just to make the pocket a little neater looking you don't have to do that if you want to. You don't want to, but it, it just looked nicer to me. And also, you're going to, at your center score line, you're just going to cut a little V out. It doesn't have to be precise. All you're doing is getting some bulk out of the way for when you're going to fold your pocket up. Now, the next step, you need some score tape or ATG or whatever you're going to use. On the short side, you need to put some tape and you can see I folded these up both to the same direction to the center so you need to put it on this side
on either flap. You want this to be a pretty sturdy. The more layers that you put on, the more sturdier your little card will be. Obviously, I know y'all know all that. But if you're using thinner papers, it would probably be to your best interest to layer it up a bit. Okay. So now I have my score tape on both flaps. Now basically what you're going to do, as if y'all can't tell, is you are going to fold your top two in, fold your bottom up, flip it over, and you want to hold this down as as good as you can. Don't just do this and flip it over because you'll end up having a pocket that bulges. So if you hold it as flat as you can to get this piece folded over and you'll probably find that it's not going to fold exactly where your score line was right here because of the bulk of the extra paper in there. And you're still going to have a little bowling, which you need some because you need to be able to get your tea bag in there. But that's your first pocket. And you're just going to make three of those. I have the other two already with tape on them. I'll try to go quick through this and not be too long. While I'm doing this, I want to go ahead and apologize to those of you who are new subscribers to my channel. Or I should say, newer su subscribers. At the end of August, beginning of September, for some reason or another, my Gmail account just started dumping everything, all my comments, all my subscriptions from YouTube, into my spam folder. And I don't check that very often. Although I should, you know, I've got millions of those British pounds in there just waiting for me to claim. Don't you guys do? <laughs> but anyway, so I missed seeing a bunch of you who had subscribed and I have finally managed to get around to everybody and thank you for subscribing to my channel. But I'm really sorry it took me so long to to get around to you. I will definitely be checking my spam folder more often now. Alright, now you have your card base, you have your three pockets. And I'm not going to go through making the whole card because like I said it, it ended up being way too long of a video. But this is the basic construction of it. You're obviously going to put down your mats however you want to match your card. Um, like for this one, I had all this mat work, the red, white, and black, down. When you get ready to put your pockets down, you can use a ruler if you want to, or you can eyeball it, whatever. But I found it easiest to put, and I put score tape on the back of mine, so to be really secure to the page. But figure out how far from the top edge you want the top of your pocket to start. And I go ahead and glue that one or score tape it or ATG or whatever. Liquid glue. Put it down completely. Glue the whole thing flat to the paper. The next pocket I'm going to do is however much space I put up there, I'm going to put at the bottom also. And I'm going to have score tape. I used three pieces. I just took off the bottom piece of score tape covering. Sit your pocket so where it matches up with the one on top and, let, and glue that down at the bottom. Then I had my three pieces on this one. I took all those off and then you've got to be very careful so you don't get it stuck while you're trying to stick it in there. But you will slide this one down and figure out exactly where it needs to sit in between the other two to try to give you the same amount of pocket sticking out and that one will be glued all the way down then you'll have to get in behind the bottom pocket and peel your other two pieces of tape off and stick it down then all three of your pockets will be totally secured to your page that's the easiest way I found how to do it without without it being too hard I'm there's probably an easier way you could probably lay it out on your scoreboard if you figured out exactly how much space you need but I just tended to eyeball it, so that's how I did it. But anyway, so that is the basic construction. See, I told you it was really easy, and it doesn't take a whole lot of paper. <laughs> I cut, this was a 8.5 by 11. I got this base plus one of the pockets out of one sheet, and then 
I cut the other two up, another sheet and had some left over. So it's it's not really, you know, paper a paper expensive project. But this is the the card that I made in the other video. And this image is from Is Isabella's sketchbook and I did it in Prismacolor pencils and odorless minerals. I cannot talk today. Odorless mineral spirits. And um it's made exactly the same way as the other one. It's just decorated a little differently. I made a tag pocket for this one and just made a tag to put in it. And the tea bags. Now, you might need to do a little adjusting depending on your tea bags. You can see this red one's a little bit larger than this one, but they both fit in the same size pocket. But it just depends on what you're going to use. You wouldn't have to do tea bags, you could do cocoa. You could um, make your pockets maybe a little poochier and put some of those yummy Ghirardelli chocolate squares in there. I mean, this is just really open to lots of different uses. But I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was such a cute project and so easy. And we can always use something that you can make multiples of when the holiday season's coming up. So I just wanted to share that with you. And... I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. And I guess I will see you with the next project. Bye.